Hey everyone, Ryan with RH Custom Guns here. I want to update you on this Keith number no. 5 Ruger custom project that I'm working on for a client of ours. Um, many of you saw me post some pictures on Facebook about the uh, elk grips that I was going to be putting on this gun and it's just not going to work out. I was able to get a left side grip uh, fit up there and it looked like it was probably going to work but uh, the right side was just not. Uh, I got this piece as the best piece I found and as you can see it's just too knife thin right there to, to work. It, I just don't think it would work. Now this could be completely due to my inexperience at cutting grips from sheds. Uh, I've done it with 1911s before that worked out well but that's this is such a weird and big shape that it was very difficult to find one that had enough bark which is this outside edges of the hard edge here uh, versus the honeycomb uh, that has the blood vessels that flow through the antler as it uh, is grown on the elk then you don't want too much of that honeycomb showing and it was just going to be so much of it showing after i ground it off so that was down the tubes um, i have plenty to make you know small revolver grips or 1911 grips or other semi-auto grips but it was just such a challenge this is an example as you can see if i had that fit up to where it would fit on here properly i was just going to have frame you know sticking out um just not going to work so elk grips are out i spoke to the client he's cool with it uh, and completely understood and we're moving along to traditional walnut this is a piece of walnut uh that's got some fiddle back in it and uh, it's got the grain running the right way for some grip material as you can see it's going to fit nicely over it just like that so now i'm going to uh cut it here cut it here flip it over cut it into probably three slabs see what it looks like and um, then start fitting it up the next step from that is going to be squaring it off and starting to scrape inlet it into this section of the grip frame right there once that's done i can do the shaping and put the escutcheons in it to put it together and uh, hopefully have more success with this pretty wood than i did with the elk it, it's a um, more monolithic shape so i'm pretty sure that we'll be able to make this work but stay tuned i'll keep you updated 